Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. This one is going to be a little bit shorter, but I'm going to talk about media sorting and playlists. Uh, Linux MCE uses a different kind of, you know, media hierarchy than we're used to. Most of the time we're used to folders, but Linux MCE brings all of our media and puts it right at our fingertips. And so, if you have a lot of media, it can be a little overwhelming. But if you properly tag all of your media, like I've talked about in one of my other videos, it actually makes your life a lot easier. And the system that Linux MCE uses actually becomes really useful and really powerful. Um, and I will say that at first I did not like this setup for media, but once I got to use it, or got used to it, and I got everything tagged, and I got cover art, I really started to enjoy it and actually now prefer it. So. Here we go, um, media sorting and playlists. So let's uh, let's deal with some audio here because I have a lot more audio than I do video. So when you come in here, the original screen shows you it shows you all of the media that you have, all of the audio that you have. And I got several pages of it, and it's all got cover art, and it's all been tagged. And so you got some buttons along the bottom that are going to be really useful to you. The first is sort, and um, that does just that. It sorts whatever is on the screen. Now it's important to note that it only filters, in, or it sorts rather, only what is on the screen. So right now, because I have everything selected, when I tell it to sort by title, all of my media is sorted by title. Okay, if I was, let me go back for a minute, let's say that I actually picked an album and I was looking at it like let's say audio adrenaline okay now I'm in the audio adrenaline folder if I tell it to sort I'm only presented oh see and sometimes it glitches out I'm only presented with the titles within that album now you notice up here that there is nothing there's space but really there's an invisible back button if you click it you get back up one level but uh yeah it's important to know that there it filters based on what is currently selected. So in sort, you can sort by a few different things, album, title, genre, uh, performer, file name, or recently used. Pretty straightforward, not a lot to explain there. Okay, next you got genre. Now this, um, once again, it's going to only affect what you have on the screen, but um, it sorts by the genre. So. You can click on Hawaiian, and uh, now I see my Hawaiian music. Now it's still going to sort by title. I only have one, or it's going to sort by album first. I only have one album with Hawaiian music, and I can click on that and see the tracks inside. Okay, now type, I don't use a lot um, just because I haven't set the type of music. Uh, this has the ability to filter by quality, you know, like low quality, CD quality, uh, high def audio, stuff like that. Um, source, yeah, I don't really use that much, so I can't say much about it. And then more. More has a really useful function. It's got the search feature and the play all feature. So um, I've got this whole album selected. I can just click play all, and it adds every single one of those to the playlist. And so now, uh, my music's playing. I got it turned down really low, so you guys can still hear me. But yeah, it's playing. Okay, so now let's say I want to add some more, some more to my playlist, but I want to get more specific. Okay, I'm gonna come in here to search, and let's say that um, I want to listen to some Stevie Wonder. So I'm gonna type in his name, Stevie. Okay, already it's starting to filter and it uh, has it down to the suggestion of Stevie Wonder. I can click on him, and now I have all of my Stevie Wonder songs. If I really like him, I can uh, do the play all and add all of his stuff to the playlist. Or alternatively, I can click on one track. Now when you got one track selected, you'll have these boxes over here on the right side. Uh, they are your your attributes to this particular track and especially the attributes that you can sort by so I've got performer genre album and title um, now if I would like to 
add everything by Stevie Wonder, I can just click right here where it says Performer Stevie Wonder. And now I'm presented with all of his stuff. In the same way, um, I can click on Genre, Funk. Now this time, I actually have two albums that have funk music on them. And so they are interspersed because they are still sorted by title as opposed to album. See, if I sort by album, I only have two entries. Okay, so then I can click on that, add songs to my heart's content. Makes sense, guys? So you can sort over here, and you can also sort by those buttons at the bottom. So um, once you click play and you've got your playlist, what you want to do is you want to manage that playlist. So open up the menu, and on the left, it says uh, you got this option for manage playlists. Click on that. Now you got all the tracks listed over here that are in the current playlist. Um, there's a few pages, and um, by clicking on, you just have to click on them. That will cause that to start playing. Now you can move the tracks up and down using these arrows on the side. And uh, if you don't like one of the entries, you use this button. Delete it, and it goes away. All right, then when you're done, don't forget to save it. You know, you can save it however you want, like my mix. Let's do that. And you can save it to private or public. I'm just gonna do public. So that's how you make a playlist, guys. And playlists are really sweet. Um, if you like to listen to a certain set of music over and over, um, all you gotta do is go to media and playlists, and uh, there's that my mix that I just made. And it's got a, it's already got a picture, and it uses the, um, it uses the picture that is most prevalent in the playlist as its cover. So I got mostly Stevie Wonder songs in there, so it's got a Stevie Wonder picture on it. Click on it, tell it to play, and um, you're good to go. You got that playlist right there, and um, a lot of people like to randomize it, so. And if you click random, it mixes up the things in the playlist. And um, you can save that again. Save it to public. And if you save, save it as the same name, it's just going to overwrite it. It's not going to make a duplicate. So, all right, guys. Those are playlists. Pretty simple, but um, not something that you intuitively might figure out on your own. I know I didn't. So... Uh, this all hinges on um, sorting, not sorting, but just tagging your media in the appropriate way. And, um, and once you do that, you got a lot of power and a lot of accuracy, especially with the search function and those um, those boxes over here on the right. It's very useful for finding stuff and doing what you need to do. So. Hope that helps, guys. My next one, I'm going to try to talk about the web admin. I've been putting it off, but I think I'm going to do it. So stay tuned.